that should have been played first, but this is not what I'm here to talk about. Today I'm going to talk about a topic of discussion, which is really a personal preference. Now, it's some people. It's one of these topics where some people like it more than the other, and I want to talk, tell you what it is. Your string height, also known as, also known as the action on your guitar. Now. People might ask, which is better, high action or low action? Again, that's just personal preference. It's what you prefer. And there's no right or wrong answer. But what action I have on my guitar, and I'm going to zoom in and show you. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but to see, there's a little bit of give on the strings. And I can just put my pick in and show you. And you see, it's one and a half mils on the bass side and one mil on the treble side. So, as you so. So the strings are about this much off the fretboard, so it's a little high, but that's the way I've been playing for so long, and I just kind of prefer it that way, because now the reason why, uh, now, okay, okay, confession time, I only did this there recently, and I just found that the lower action, I find that I'm kind of, kind of hurt my fingers by pressing on the fret because it's too, too much pain this way I find I don't have to I find see because I see I tend to press hard on the fretboard in other words and I find that I'm kind of putting pressure on my finger which hurts this way I'm not putting much pressure because yeah I don't have to really press too hard but still like the re now the reason why I prefer the higher action is because it actually I believe it adds more sustain as you can hear from the harmonics it rings longer rings out longer because of that high action because it gives the strings more room to vibrate now a lot of famous guitar players used high action Ingve Malstein Steve Ray Vaughan, Eric Johnson, Jay Masterson. Okay, his action's ridiculously high because he learned to play off a junk guitar which had the same action on it and he just stuck with it. He just went with it. And he never looked back. Willie Nelson, I believe, played with high action and so did Johnny Ramon. He played with high action as well. Now, the reasons why... Well, of course, there's guitarists out there who play with very low action, like Tony Aomi because of his uh, fingertip condition, because of the accent he had, so he had to have his action low just for, for comfort reasons. Paul Gilbert played with, plays, also plays with very low action as well. Now, the reason why I use it, and it works for me, I find is what works for me. So what I suggest is experiment and see which, which one works for you. And I find this works for me better because better toad, and it, it, and it, I, and easier to bend strings. And, and I find that this, that it actually, it actually uh, improves the tone of my playing. Now, now of course it's down to you as the player, what you like and what you think is best. Now, if you're a beginner, you might want to lower your action. But raise it when you get more comfortable and get more experience. Of course, if you want to stick with a low action, of all means, stick to it. But me, this is what I use, and this is what works for me. Now, uh, now, what you need to adjust your action is, of course, a screwdriver and a feeler gauge. And what I do is I set the one mil on the on the feeler gauge and just hover over the fret bar, the, the fret wire on the twelve fresh only enough until it's kind of hovering over the strings and kind of slightly going back and forth kind of over the strings like kind of like like a saw motion under the string but the horse not caught the string and same with the treble side where I set, where I set down to one millimeter now on acoustic it's different I set two millimeter on the bass side one and a half on the bit on the treble side because that's what I prefer see acoustic is different <laughs> and that's the way I like it so I'll say it to you. Also, also, if you're changing change the action of your guitar, you might need to re-intonate it because 
it just sets everything off. So if you're doing a complete setup, do your action, do your truss rod first, then set your action, then leave your intonation to the last step. So I suggest leaving that to the last step. So that's that's just me, and that's why I prefer higher higher action because better tone and easier to grab strings. So I hope this all helps you. So and it's also a cheaper way to improve the tone of your guitar by raising your action a little bit. So over and out, comment, rate, subscribe.